Hamantumara under Beliasur uh, headquarter bit. Uh, you see, uh, we have uh, we have come to a eucalyptus stand where we are going to measure the biomass. In fact, our main aim is to see the carbon uh, content in this tree, and therefore we first have to measure the biomass. As you can see, that this is a cylinder, and it is a preliminary knowledge in mathematics that the volume of cylinder is pi r square h. So height we measure by the laser over there, and the height is almost. 18.5 meters. We have measured by laser and also by using the drone technology. At the same time, uh, all the forest guards are there, all the staffs of forest department are there, who are helping me a lot and helping our team a lot to know the radius at the breast height and also the basal radius. Now, uh, I'm just uh, showing uh, one of the forest uh, uh, staff that how he is measuring the radius at the breast height. You see, it is, uh, he is measuring the radius at the breast height uh, at 1.30 meter, 1.37 meter uh, approximately from the ground. And uh, this is how he is measuring. Now, uh, you can see that he is measuring this radius at the breast height, which is 36 centimeter approximately. And then uh, he is also measuring the radius, the basal radius. Uh, which is the, the total circumference is 50 centimeter okay. approximately. Now, what's the use of this? For example, if I consider the volume of the tree as pi r square h, a radius is not same everywhere. Somewhere you see it is swallow in here. So this, it is not a constant. This 36 centimeter is not constant. It is uh, higher over here. Then you see some tumors, some outgrowth, some box have come over here. So there is an unevenness. So as an end correction, the correction factor is small r square by capital r square where small r square is the square of the radius of the uh, breast height and the capital r square is the square of the radius of the, uh, of the of the of the base so this should be multiplied as an n correction to get the biomass so this i have got the volume and then we will cut a piece of the tree to get uh, to know the density which is approximately 800 kg per meter cube so this will be multiplied with the volume to get the mass of one eucalyptus tree. Now we have seen in the quadrant that there are 11 number of eucalyptus trees are there. So that biomass for one tree should be multiplied by 11 to get a total biomass of the 100 meter square quadrant. In this way, we will be doing uh, six quadrants over here in this uh, particular area. So we have, uh, this is one example of one such plot. So thank you. Uh, for uh, giving this opportunity to the forest department to uh, make a survey of the carbon sequestration of eucalyptus.